Hey, pup. What says you? Hmm? So, our paint's dried. Now I'm going to pull this drive shaft off. We are going to mount that steering box. Um, I think I'm going to cut some biscuits quick just to set down. And then we can drop the body down and well, eventually it'll work on bolting it down. I want to get this all done, get the car moved over to that side for now. I'm doing a little bit of work on the Buick, so. But first things first, I want to get the body down on here. I should do the steering box. I might do it after, only because I do want to paint that firewall. Well, loosely paint it. We'll get the... Do I want to paint it now? Well, I do want to paint it before I put the motor in, but that motor's in no state to go in there right now. Anyways, game plan. We're just going to get the body mounted and moved. We're going to do that. Well, I have got what I wanted to do this afternoon here, evening, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. Um, got my car up. It's not bolted yet. I'm going to look at that shortly. Uh, but we got the body. We made the mounts. If you've seen, I was just using uh, mud flap, the thicker part of the mud flap and punching holes in it. And I'm using that as my upper part of my body mount. So that'll all squeeze around. Uh, We'll deal with that when we get there. The steering box is what I will play with next, but for now I'm going to clean up a little bit around the shop. My plan is like this motors here. I use it for mock-up. I don't need it anymore. I know Trevor is going to be working on his Essex soon. So we'll, the motor will be around. We're going to use that for the mock-up in his car. For now, I don't need it tying up the corner. The motor that was in his 56 has still been hovering around. I'm pulling the heads because one of my heads screwed up along with the piston and stuff on my, uh, the motor I took out of the Buick. So 
I'm going to scavenge whatever parts are still salvageable out of this one and throw it in the junk. And same with just some cleanup. Needs to be done. Motor I'll pull over here. Later on, I'm going to be bringing my Buick in. I want to pull that modified tranny out because the motor's bone stock. So I'm going to keep that for possibly my, my next winter build. Uh, anyways, I'm going to do some cleanup. I'll save you from that. When I bring you back, we probably will be just tightening down the cab here and uh, we'll start working on the steering column, get the steering working. I think that'd be super ideal. All right, where were we here? I don't remember where I was because we were doing some, uh, it's been a day or so has passed. So I've uh, done a bunch of work on that thing, but that's still relevant. <laughs> So we got the motor or the uh, body on. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to find all the holes. I would just want to bolt the body down. Now that that cross member is removable, it's uh, easier to get this motor in come time to do it. But either way, I want to get the body bolted down. We got the mounts. You see me make those. They're down. Uh, right now, I think I'm going to get the uh, steering column or the steering box. I'll get it on and we're going to roughly mock up the steering column. I know lots of folks had some ideas for raising the column and doing things like that, but in actuality, because I got a removable steering wheel, it's uh, everything about it with the size of the wheel is very comfortable. So we're going to leave that for now. We can raise this a little bit. Like we got, I don't know, half an inch, three quarter of an inch. If we have to go up, we can go up, but I, I'm really not concerned about it. I think it'll be pretty good. If this bothers me, we can move this over a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Overall, we'll find out if that's annoying or not once it's all in there. But uh, anywho, like you say, I have these holes here. I got to enlarge these holes so we can get our bolts down and in. And then when we lift it up, um, we can get at this one, no problem. The ones in the back, no problem. And then the rear ones here come up and then they'll bolt together. And then we can kind of get the fuel tank in. I don't know if I'm going to put another brace in the middle. We'll see how this goes. I'll probably pull these off, but I'm going to mark the panels so I can just run a couple screws in and then it'll be like solid inside. Anyways, won't rattle around. All right. Well, let's get started with this stuff. So we got our mounts are in, get there, there. We still got to put some paint underneath here. That is not a big deal. Um, I guess next thing I'm going to do is I want to, now that the body's like permanent, uh, we're going to drop it down. I'm going to put the steering box on and uh, that is resting just curiously on the hoist there. All right. Well, let's get that down. We're going to mock, we'll get the steering box on and we can kind of get the wobble joint on it and we'll kind of see where we go from there, how we get the steering to work.
So I had just had this part tack welded because um, I don't know if this is centered to that U-joint yet. So my idea, this is that wheelbarrow bearing and you can see they have a little shoulder on it. So I was going to put it in, tack it, it should be fine. I just need to uh, clean this up a little bit. taps and it should go in. These should fit in here but I usually have a way crappier quality bearing I use. <laughs> this may mean a, a little more loving than I normally give them. Ah, well, it'll be fine. So I have my shaft, which is uber, uber long, but I'm not cutting it down until we have it all mocked up in the, the car. So this is the original shaft. So I just got to clean this edge up a bit. All right, well, we've got this cleaned up. We got our bearing in the bottom, kind of smacked her in like we did. It was a little tight, but we got it not too bad now. We're just gonna give this thing a little a loob doob and get her lined up at the bottom here. So I don't know how much to, we're not cutting the column yet until I figure out how much of this needs to go out to the steering box. So, so we'll leave it like this and we will, I think it's gotta go more. We'll push more through. All right, let's see how that fits. So I am gonna say, gotta get that into the steering box there. Not too happy. Let me clean this up a bit. Come on. Okie dokie. Survey says. Come on. Three quarter inch. That is supposed to fit in there. <laughs> and I, I do want it to go in quite a ways. Now let's see if it comes off and we will start this up again here. Wasn't going to be enough room on there. We might have to enlarge in our hole a wee bit. All righty, so we made a big mess so far. <laughs> this is not in far enough and it doesn't want to go in far enough. The shaft just seems to be a hair bit too big. So I guess I'm just going to undo my steering box so we can get that wobble joint off. All right. Let's fix some of this here. Problemos. All right. So we don't need a lot, but we'll see where we get here.
All right. Lots of noise. Column in place. This, we need the wiggle in place. All right, so for this to work, this is fine, but I need to raise this thing up some more, which is okay. That I'm not too worried about. We'll just slot the holes on the lower mount like a lot. I don't have to go crazy, but we'll do it a bit. So let me slot those. Need to take that nut off the bottom. Uh, let me slot those. I'll cue the monkey music. I'm going to go dancing around here and uh, uh, I'll bring it back once I get this figured out. <laughs> Well, we got our steering in. Let's see if we can uh, see. <laughs> so you're probably watching what I all did. I screwed up numerous times. But anyways, we got steering box in. You've seen me. I did the. I gave up on the stud, and I actually drilled that out. We had to do a little bit of grinding in there, but we got it so we can just bolt a nut in from underneath. So that's good. This part we had to open up a wee bit but we've welded this knuckle to this shaft, which comes out with the steering column now. 
Um, have to sneak in here. So we have it bolted to the firewall. That's all good. Uh, comes up, bolts to the dash. Steering wheel's on. We don't have this thing uh, fully done yet. I might tack it. I think the thing I'm gonna do now is put the car down on the ground and we'll just throw that junky seat that I got in there for now, the one I made. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna put the seat in. We're gonna see how this feels, if it's gotta move or anything's gotta go, if the steering's gotta come back or forward. I'm not sure. I know this looks a little hoagie here and I don't know if it's gonna be here or I gotta have the wheel out to be comfortable. I don't know. I wanted this part so I could mount the signal stat to it. Anyways, let's get it down and see how comfortable that is. If I did things right, if we got to move stuff, we'll figure that out uh, pretty much right away. All right, like I tell you, I was already wrong. I had to move it to a different spot. <sighs> oh. Sit low. I'm okay with this, even where the brake is, but I feel it should come up. Man, it's a lot of work. Uh, it might be just this little bit that we talked about before. If I move that up, I think we'd be okay. Now, that said, I think right there's where I think the wheel is the nicest. It's kind of weird, but that gets this signal's place in a good spot. I guess I could have made this longer, but me, it's okay. I'm not very worried about it. It's fine. All right. Well, I'll save you the grief. I'm going to pull this thing out and we'll quickly cut this. I'll raise this up. We'll kind of just bend stuff and manipulate it the way I need. Hopefully everything still just works down below. Like I'm sitting here. If I do that. I think if I do my steering wheel right there, we'll be good. I know some people don't like having their legs stretched out. This is where I'm going to be, and I think it'll be comfortable. I can hit my gas pedal, be able to hit the brake nice. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. We'll get, we'll get this. Column's done, waiting for the paint to dry. We, uh, I don't know if you can actually see. Like you can see, we're pretty hollow in there. Inside, you can see the washer that I kind of, I tacked. So this thing, you can't pull the column out and there's, you can't push it because it's going to be pushing against the steering box. Sometimes I use a valve spring or something just to put a little bit of tension on it, but I'm not worried with this setup. I didn't want the option that if somehow this nut backed off, you, Physically can't actually pull this column out because it's bolted to the firewall, so I don't know. Anyways, we got this done. The shaft is welded and we got her welded on the inside there yet, so I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. We're gonna smash it back in and uh, see how, if I fixed it. At this point, it is what it is. We'll wait for this to dry. I'm gonna bolt that sucker in and we're gonna test fit me with it. <laughs> we
Well, we've raised it up, we've painted everything. Let's see how uh, this fits now. <laughs> pedal when I get hooked up. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's pretty good. There's lots of room between the door. I almost need a thinner seat. <laughs> My seat dilemma is just is always going to be there, I guess, eh? All right. I don't know. I like it. Fine. Cool. I think this will work. So we got our steering column in, uh, and I threw on my signal blinker thing to so get the overall look. Looking spiffy. It'll do its thing. Uh. Only thing left to do to say our steering is done and working is to hook up the steering box to the front end here. So it actually works as it should. So what I do, I grab a, what do you call it? I've usually when Speedway, when I order a tie rod length or something, I just usually order like the longest that they got and then I can cut it to size. So this should be just a 5 eighths and 5 eighths end. I should have all of that. And we should be able to just do like a Heim style front to back. So that's the idea. So I'm gonna thread one end in, I'm gonna get a Heim and kind of just judge what the length should be. Or actually I can just measure it really. I do have taps and stuff. So I'm gonna cut this to length and then I can put in my Heim and we can call her done. Should be that simple. That is awesome. So we managed to get, we got our steering column all in, good to go. All fastened in nicely down there, yeah. We got our blinker on there, not that it's relevant to anything right now. We got, I gotta get some different bolts because I don't have the right bolts on here. They're the wrong size. But anyways, we just have it temporarily mocked up. We got our steering on and working. I think you've seen that in the quick laps there, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I think we did pretty good for the day. Um, 
I have to button up some stuff in here because none of these bolts are tight or have lock nuts or anchors or any washers or nothing on them. Everything's kind of just loosey-goosey. But, hey, we got steering. And it's removable. So that's cool. So, where does that leave us? Well, we got the body bolted down. We got the steering column made, finished, hooked up, functioning. I don't know. I think we did really good. But I think, I think that's where we're going to leave this one because I was going to get to the motor, but that steering column, I screwed around a lot and screwed up a lot of things and that had to redo a bunch. <laughs> so that thing took a lot longer than I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, not a big deal. So I guess, uh, I guess that's where we're going to leave this one. I want to uh, thank you folks for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one when we, uh, I guess the plan will be to get that motor into here and start mocking up the, uh, get the radiator mount better and start mounting the headlights and the front shocks. And then uh, I guess after that we will move to the rear end and uh, yeah. As things compound and bounce along, we're getting close. My goal is kind of to the end of this month-ish is about where I'm going to work on this thing and we'll see where we get. Um, I'd like to do a little bit of work on the 54 coming up. And then uh, I think before the snow flies, I do want to just start pile driving on my actual winter project to which I will let you folks know what that is at a later date, but <laughs> oh well. Anyways, again, I want to thank you folks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.